Welcome back, folks. My name's Shane. I'm sitting here with Ben. Hello, everyone. I'm Ben, and this is Shane. Yeah, and uh, before anyone asks, yes, I had an accident with the razor over here, and it doesn't look good. I already know that. <laughs> anyway, Ben and I have known each other for a long time. Used to um, mm. come to our gigs back in the day. I remember yeah, yeah, when you yeah. were like, how old were you back then? Probably... Oh, 17, 18? Yeah, Because wow. I... I bought my first ever pedal from you. Yes. Yeah, I remember. It was, it was a, it was a K, Kalen. It's still on my board. Is Kalen, it the Pure the, Sky one, was it? No, the, the BB preamp clone, Orange Burst. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's what it is. It's literally great. still on my board. Yeah. It's unreal. I but, remember yeah, hearing, hearing you play back in the day, even as a young guy, and I was like, wow, you can seriously play. It was, oh, thanks, it was pretty impressive. And even Brian, who, who's been on the channel many times in different capacities, is said nice things about you playing and he hasn't heard you play in the last sort of i don't know few years because he wasn't at the jam last yeah. time we played and ben's playing's phenomenal and oh, he's thanks, helped man. me out with some videos in the past because obviously i'm left-handed and he's right-handed so it makes it easy to showcase some uh really great stuff but yeah you, your playing is just on a whole other level now like you've got all the stuff he makes oh, it look thanks, easy man. and it's interesting and it sounds good so you got the combination of all three oh, of those well, things thank you that means that uh seventy thousand dollars for a piece of paper was, was <laughs> worth it yeah so that's what i thought we'd maybe have a quick chat about so yeah. you went through music school i did which is so, something i've not ever done <laughs> yeah no i i went to to high school and i did the vce yeah. uh music thing mm -hmm. uh, which is just I don't know what like a US equivalent is or whatever. Just yep. the last two years of high school, I did did music. Uh, was going to pursue acting and yeah, well, and cool. stuff. I actually have a three and four in screen acting, if you can believe it. Um, well, that's why he's so comfortable uh, on camera. Yeah. That makes it that makes it makes it's, sense. It's then. like home. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but I decided to just go into the music thing. Went and studied at the Australian Institute of Music in Melbourne. Mm -hmm. That was a uh, three-year degree that they condensed to two years mm -hmm. which was really intense wow really intense like the drop-off rate of students was was really <laughs> yeah they've changed it around now so it, i think it is a three-year course now yeah because it was just it was too too much like hard work yeah wow. Um, but it was great like i learned from like the best musicians in the country which was awesome yeah you know, we, we'd have like Craig, I remember Craig Newman, who's John Farnham's bass player, would hmm. take our class on Aussie rock. Yeah, wow. Well, and that's was super cool. Like, all right, there's this guy who just played on all of these songs. Yeah, wow. Well. <laughs> was telling us about him, and then it's like, okay, cool. I got to leave halfway through the trimester because I got to go on tour with John Farnham. It's like, cool, sweet. Yeah. Uh, but guys like him, Darren Ferrugia, yeah, wow. Well. Uh, Glenn Cannon, Nick Freer. Um, Nick Freer is. They're all amazing. Nick Free has uh, just just finished his PhD in uh, kind of centered around the harmony of Alan Holdsworth. Okay, which is some ridiculous stuff. If you listen to Alan Holdsworth, you know that it's worth writing a PhD <laughs> paper <laughs> yeah. on because it's it's mental. Um, yeah, but it was are. great. It was really intense, really hard work. But you know, I learned how to read. I didn't really get good at reading. Oh, okay. But I, yeah. Up until, well, 2022 is when I kind of got good at reading because yeah. I started doing all the musical theatre gigs. Yeah, I was going to ask you about that. How much of what you do now is sort of, has it helped you with, you know, where you're at? It, that if, if I didn't do that degree, yeah. I wouldn't be able to do what I do now. Yeah. So you do a mix of stuff, right? You do, I've seen you do like solo, uh, duo acoustic stuff. Yeah, yeah I and mean. You've, you've got the. Do your your pub gigs and yeah, your yeah, little yeah. winery acoustic duos and stuff which which i do a lot of yeah. um i do session work i do a lot of a lot of musical theater yeah that's that's been the main thing the main time sink really for the past two ish cool years um it's it's just amateur and community stuff at the moment hopefully one day i get like a pro gig or something one of the big theaters in the in yeah. the city that would be a lot of fun but yeah it's just a, a lot of time sink into into that yeah but it's fun i wonder how many it. people actually are in the same position you are with what you've gone through school-wise and then also 
you know, you're easy to work with. You're always positive. You're, you turn up on time. You know, it's a lot of musicians that don't have a lot of those attributes generally. So you, <laughs> Time you, is a construct. Yeah, I, I think you'll, you'll do really well with it long term, man. You're oh, one of the few guys mate. that, you know, just has a almost limitless bag of tricks and we'll showcase some of those coming up. So, uh, yeah. Don't hype me up too much. No, nah, no, nah, he's crap. Don't worry about it. <laughs> But uh, yeah, so I thought what we'd do today is just introduce Ben. So here he is. Hello, I'm here. <laughs> and we're also going to do some first impressions of some artist guitars that we're going to actually review. And yep. uh, well, you'll be doing the playing on the righties because I'm a lefty and I've got my Harley Benton back here. So that may, may feature in a few of these videos. But um, yeah, I'll go and grab a couple and, and just see what you think, you know, first up of the difference between when oh, Ben used to work in a music store. So he has seen... Mm artist guitars before but not for a little while and no. these new ones are pretty wild yeah so no, i'm, I'm yeah. looking forward to it because yeah full disclosure my my experience with artist guitars has been <laughs> customers bring in artist guitar that they bought and they're like oh it's something they're just a beginner or whatever oh something's wrong with with my guitar and we take one look at it and we go there's m more than one thing wrong <laughs> yeah with, okay. with this yeah, guitar well. um so I'm I'm excited to see that they've they've improved. Or, yeah, or... They're, they're pretty cool these days, and uh, I think the first one will probably give you a bit of a surprise. Sweet. All right, I'll okay, go grab. Cool. I'll go get it. Okay. <laughs> I'll bring the model up on screen. Oh but... wow! <laughs> yeah. Well, that's different to the artist guitars, yeah. right? Yeah. Check it what out. It's pretty cool. It is. Is that a stainless steel fret? Oh, you know what? I haven't actually checked the specs yet. So I'll need to do that. But um, yeah, it's got the painted over paisley body. Yeah. Dual humbucker guitar. It looks like it's got a roasted maple neck. Yeah. So um, neck contour thing. Yeah, I was just keen to see how they've changed over like last, for how, I don't know how long you haven't worked at the shop for, but you know, the last few years at least anyway. Yeah, this is uh, <laughs> definitely a cut above what I remember them being. Yeah. There's a few. It's really cool. Yeah, it's, it's pretty good, huh? <laughs> <laughs> I haven't heard it yet, but uh, yeah, it's got some interesting sort of like dot yeah. inlays going on. Yeah, it almost looks like um, the Nick Johnston Schecter. Ah, yeah, bit, yeah. With, with, with those inlays. How's the neck feel so far? Nice. Yeah. The frets seem. The frets seem good. And yeah. they are stainless steel frets too, by the way. Jesus. You're right. Jesus. Yeah. It's got locking tuners. Yes. It's got a. A tremolo system that looks like it should hopefully work. We'll Fingers test crossed. that out. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, they come a long way even since the first ones I've seen. Like, I opened the box, I was like, what? <laughs> yeah, so that's... yeah, we'll show you some beauty shots on screen of this yes. as well. I've already done all that. So, uh, yeah. B-roll. <laughs> yeah. yeah, very cool. That is really cool. All right, let's go to the next one. Oh, let's <laughs> move swiftly along. Yeah, let's get moving. Aha. The telly. Oops, sorry. Or or T style for yeah. legal reasons. <laughs> yeah, uh, we're not making them, so we can call them a tally. But yeah. Right. All right. That's cool. Have a look at this one. So this is uh, pretty much like a traditional tally that's got the relic thing going on, and I saw this on the prior page on the website. Wow. So this is the AT53, and this one's... Less expensive, I think. Oh, no, that's with a case. Um, anyway, oh, here we go. I think it's this one. So that's four forty nine Australian dollars, by the way. It's like 25 US. <laughs> <laughs> God, the exchange rate. <laughs> wow. The switch feels like of a good quality yep. as well, which is really surprising because usually the place that a lot of these affordable guitars fall down yep. is the electronics. Yep. But I that totally feels agree. really good. And look look at the um, br the bridge. Or the saddles, I should say. Oh, true. They're those intonated. Yeah, they actually look really good. Ones. I think these are cut above uh, pretty much all of the artist guitars I've seen so far. Yeah. So th this should be pretty cool. This is grooving. How much was this one? Uh, 4 49 I think. Yeah, I think it's this one. It's just in a different color. That's the white. I can't find that at the moment. There's so much stuff. And it passed the QC. <laughs> yeah. According to Hank. Yeah, Hank's a good man. Good on you, Hank, at Artist Guitars. So, uh, yeah. You're more of a telly or a Strat? I'm guy? more of a Strat guy. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I, first guitar was a Strat and a kind of 
um, if, if you've saw if you've seen my guitar collection, it's like strats and strat adjacent things. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Mainly, um, which is kind of ridiculous yeah. and maybe a slight problem, but I like them. No, but tell it, tell it. Yeah, they're cool. super playable. I mean, yeah. For a relic guitar to be this light, uh, like a cheap guitar as well, I would still yeah. consider this relatively cheap. How light is this compared it's, to, like, it's lighter than my telly from Fender. There's not so much of it. It's pretty cool. So that's the telly. We've got one more we're going to take a look at. We have the rock machine here, mate. Oh, my God. Yes, Junior. There we go. Single pickup. Hell yeah. And this one, I, I like think- Junior's is one of the... I think this was one of the new ones as well. So, um, yeah, there was going to be a few more on the way, and they, there might be coming up. So stay tuned if you want to see more reviews. But uh, I think they just sent what they had in, in stock at the moment. And Gee, I thought at, this looked look pretty cool. Look at the cool. neck. Yeah. It's got this, that's like... A, that's a lucky piece of wood yeah, right there. It's pretty nice. Hank again on the QC. Good on you, mate. Yeah. I love this. I got I got into Junior's last year Mm -hmm. because I did American Idiot the musical oh yeah cool at Chapel Off Chapel and I wasn't particularly into Green Day Day yeah yeah okay before (laughs) then but as I was learning the songs and and reading the book I was like oh I know basically all of these songs Mm -hmm. and then I just really wanted a junior I actually bought... A friend of mine has a Billy Joe Armstrong signature. Okay, cool. So I borrowed that for, I think, a couple of the dress runs, and it just wouldn't stay in tune, so oh, I, I no. just gave it back to him. I'm like, yeah. It looks the part and it sounds a part, but I can't get through one song. Very cool. Yeah, it looks great. Um, again, finish looks good, uh, although yeah. I can't obviously pick play it. It felt good when I picked it up out of the box, so... Yeah, good yeah. neck. F- fret, the, fret, the fret ends seem good. I guess the biggest difference with this and like a, a Gibson one, other than of course the price, is bolt-on neck. Yes. Yeah. Versus the what is it? The glued-on neck. I guess is that what they call them? Something like that. Set. So have a. This is two hundred and forty-nine bucks. Yeah. Does it feel like a two hundred and forty-nine dollar guitar? Because usually say, we'd, it, we'd be like, no. Nah. It feels cheaper than those. Yeah. Okay. But it doesn't yeah. feel like two hundred and fifty dollars worth of guitar. Yeah. In terms of, you know, if you were to look at something. Of a similar vibe to this from something, someone like Epiphone. Yeah. Well, like $800. Yeah, or I think. Uh, like, something yeah, silly. A thousand bucks. Easy, yeah. At least here. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> In Australia, everything yeah. is. I'm looking forward to seeing what kind of sounds we can get out of these. And uh, mm. yeah, if you want to check any of these out, I'll link them down below. Artist Guitars have kind of like sponsored this series of videos to have Ben help out. So thanks to them for that. And uh, yeah, you'll be seeing us rocking out in a couple of clips coming up and a couple of review videos and whatever so yeah Heck make yeah. him feel welcome in the comments section ready to make some noise I'm ready to make a lot of noise all right let's make some awesome. noise <laughs> see you guys